Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and so far we covered our first seven string comparison operators. Now we will move on to our last string comparison operator that is NP. What NP stands for contains no pattern. It means it is just not of CP. It is just not of contains pattern. If you remember, we are always following the same practice. For CO, the N naught is CN. For CA, the note is NA. For CS, the note is NS. For CP, the note is NP. Now, same to same, whatever is true in case of CP, it will be false in case of NP. Whatever is false for CP, it will be true for NP. And same to same, just like CP, NP will also not take case sensitiveness into consideration. The string comparison operator contains no pattern, will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Whatever the value of system variable, a psi FTPOS, we are getting in true for CP. Same value we will get in case of false for NP. Whatever the value of system variable psi FTPOS, we are getting in false for CP. Here we will get in true for NP because we all know very, very well now it is just not of CP. So whatever is true for CP, it is false for NP. Whatever is false for CP, it is true for NP. And same to same, we will go for star plus and hash and we will see the use of hash in case of NP also. And same to same, whatever the scenarios we covered for CP, now we will cover for NP. Now, if you remember, what the first scenario we covered? First string, system application product. Then what we did after that, we are looking for a pattern A double P star. Star A double P star. Now star means any sequence of characters. A double P star any sequence of character. Now rather than CP, now I will make it as NP. I will activate and we will see or we will understand the result. Now, first string is containing the pattern of second string. Yes, it is containing the pattern because we have any sequence of characters. Then we have A, B, double P and then we have any sequence of character. But we are looking for no pattern, contains no pattern but it is containing the pattern. So we will get which result system will go to else part and we will get a false result. So if I will put a break point and show you the result, we will go for debugging. Whatever we covered in case of contains pattern, now we are covering for contains no pattern. I will go to desktop, most preferable desktop. Now, sec first string is containing the pattern of second string, but we are going for contains no pattern, but it is containing the pattern. So system will go to which part? Else part. And what will be the value of this system variable? If it is false, if it is false, it will return the offset or position of first character of V2 in V1. If we will see offset or position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we got the result 7. So the result is 7. Now we will go for a next scenario. Now I am not putting star here. 
Now I will go for activation of the program. Now, what SAP will think at this point of time, you are going for a double P at the starting, then you have any sequence of character, but we have so many characters before that also. It means first string is not containing the pattern of second string. And we are going for no pattern only. Yes, contains no pattern. So we will get a true result. If I will go for running of the program, if I will show you in the debugging mode, we'll go to desktop three. First string is not containing the pattern of second string. Yes, so we will get a true result. And you can see what will be the value of the system variable. It will return the length of first string. It will return the length of first string in case of true result. So we got the result 30. Now I will go for executing. Now suppose we are looking for a different string itself. Suppose I'm going for, suppose I'm writing welcome. Suppose star, star. We are looking for a pattern. Any number of characters, welcome should be there. Then any number of characters. Now, first string is not containing this kind of pattern. Yes, we have any sequence of character, but welcome is not there. Then we have any sequence of character but we do not have welcome yes. So first string is not containing the pattern of second string. So if I will run and I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. You can see first string, second string. First string is not containing the pattern of second string. So we got a true result. And whenever we will get a true result, it will return the length of the first string. And what is the length of first string? It is 30. Now I will simply, simply execute. Now we will see the behavior of this escape, this escape character. You all know when we covered the topic CP contains pattern. At that time, we covered so many scenarios for this escape character. Similarly, we will use here also. We will cover here also. So what is the first use of hash? Hash is used to make a search case sensitive because hash interpret the next character as it is. If it is in capital, it will consider capital. If it is in small, it will consider small. Suppose I'm writing here hash. Suppose we are looking for any sequence of character. Now I'm writing hash. Suppose firstly I'm looking for a double P. Then we will go for any sequence of characters. I'll put star here. Now we will see the true and false result. Now do you have any sequence of character? Yes, we have any sequence of character. Hash. After hash, whenever you will put hash, it will interpret the next character as it is. Do you have capital A? Yes. Do we have 2P? Yes, we have 2P. And then you, do you have any sequence of character? Yes, we have any sequence of character. So it will consider this A as it is. It will consider this A in capital. And here we have A in capital itself. So first string is containing the pattern of second string. So if I will execute and we will check, I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. This is our first string. And this is our second string. You can see first string is containing the pattern of second string. But we are checking for no pattern. First string should not contain the pattern of second string. 
So we will get a false result. And whenever we will get a false result, it will return the offset or position of first matching character. And you can see offset or position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we got the result 7. Now we will go for case sensitive search second part. Suppose I am going for A double P. I will go for activation. Now what we are looking for star means any sequence of characters after hash, whatever the character I will put after hash, it will be treated as it is. It will interpret as it is. So now, but we have capital A here, A here. We are looking for small a. So first string is not containing the pattern of second string. Yes, this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. But if you want to go for case sensitive search, you can use hash. And hash is called as escape character. If I will show you the result, I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. This is our first string. This is our second string. First string is not containing the pattern of second string. So we will get a true result. Whenever we will get a true result, it will return the length of the first string first. And we got the expected result. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with our last string comparison operator. That is NP. NP stands for contains no pattern. It is just note of CP. So whatever is true for CP, it is false for NP. Whatever is false for CP, it is true for NP. It will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Whatever the value of system variable psi FTPOS in true for CP, it is false for NP. Whatever the value of system variable psi FTPOS in false for CP, it is in true for NP. And then we are covering the meaning of various characters. And we took the various scenarios. We cover true result, we cover false result. And now after that, we cover the few scenarios of hash, which is called as escape character. In the next video, we will cover the remaining portion of this, this particular string comparison operator NP. Whatever the scenarios we covered in CP, we will cover rest scenarios in case of NP also in case the in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.